Minnesota looking to get back in the win column. Yeah, Dane St. Clair in goal. No changes to that back line. Devin Bedelford gets his third consecutive start in that back line. Will Trapp will sweep. Again, McMath in goal. Same back line. Katranis has been a welcome addition to this side. A good left back. Got his first goal for the club as a match winner against Vancouver. The second ever head coach of the Loons in their MLS era. We'll get a look at Pablo Mastroini on the other side in just a moment. We're off and running here inside of Allianz Field. Is to stay a little more disciplined higher up the field, not go looking for it deeper, but that leaves Kachanis having to get higher up the field and play a little bit more. Arango first time after he got inside the area. And the first real test for Dane Sinclair will lead to the second first half corner for the visitors. You've got Arango with the right foot and Vanna with the left. It is going to be Vanna. Oh, and Sinclair comes up with another beauty. Parrying it away with two hands. And Chicago Fire catch the future stars of MLS and global soccer as matches stream live on MLS Season Pass tomorrow. Gomez this time hits the brakes. Now trying to push past Rosales to the end line. And in front! And who else? Chicho again! Three last week, and he opens the scoring here in Minnesota for the visitors. But you see here, Gomez creating separation. He cuts the ball back, allows him to come back in tight, fakes it, creates just enough off one foot, and then Chicho Arango waiting all the time for that ball to get clipped in where he can come off, create a little bit of momentum. I mean, look at this leap. He's not missing from there. Snap header, gets up over it, redirects to the back post. One Here's the South African again one more time. Puki hovering around the penalty spot. Pushed away by Brody. Gomez this time doing the defending against Rosales. Puki quick to first arrival. Right footed shot and a couple of hops into the gloves of Zach McMahon. You know, that ball rogo from Gomez just going back thinking about that goal a little bit reminds me of some of the things that Inside, Puki getting through some traffic, pushed away on the backside, and McMath, his first big test of the night. Denies saying Ben on the doorstep, out in front for Halongwane. Rosales, top of the 18 to hit it. Gomez was there, and now Gomez with a chance to get out and transition for RSL. It's going to be a yellow for that one. So the first booking of the night. Both keepers face a test, or two, in the opening 45 minutes. Good ball. And good collection from Arango. Trying to play throw here for Gomez. Gomez gets around the first line. Good job, though, from Dane St. Clair. Steer things wide. Gomez now onto his left foot and right into the gloves of the 26-year-old Canadian keeper. Whipping a ball in, leading to corner kicks. Positive movement so far. Lude. Back post ball this time, headed up and over the bar by Boxel. And that turnover there, Rogo, reminds me of just part of that conversation again that we had with Pablo Mastroeni and his. Get to that point in a moment, saying Ben, first time, had the right idea as he had three separate runs coming into the box, but he hit it right into the gloves of McMath, you were saying. Yeah, but I've got a high. Get to that in a minute. Gomez. Overlapping run. Gomez cutting inside, still at his feet. Gomez looking for the corner. It's off the post. You know, every time I'm like, this is too much, it's too much. Obviously, it leads to this opportunity going solo on the left foot. We saw him liking his left foot in the first half where he sent it wide or high when he had some other options. Strikes that one. Well, it's a matchup of star strikers next Saturday when Chicho Arango and Real Salt Lake play host to Cucho Hernandez and the reigning champion Columbus Crew. That's April the 13th, next weekend, starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time on MLS Season Pass. You can see Salt Lake have the ability to drop back into more of a defensive shell. Through here, Puki. Puki, big save from McMath, and he smothers it, but the offside flag was up against the finished striker. Lud shifted out wide, waiting for help, and he'll find it in Alejandro Brown. He'll let it go. Probably a foot or so over the top of the crossbar from long distance. You see circulate, probe a little bit more in and out of those half spaces. Maybe you get a better look. 
Here's the yellow card for Zach McMath for taking those precious few extra seconds off the clock. End of the night for Will Trapp as Franco Fragapani will step on. And also that's going to be it for Temu Puki. The 34-year-old designated player will come off here in the 84th minute. Uluwashe will win it, laying it back. Numbers in the area, headed just wide, but still alive for DJ Taylor on the edge of the 18. Oviedo there to defend for RSL. Lude, great first touch to get inside, still dancing on it. Lude, out of the doorstep, and we're tied! Tani Uluwashe for the second time this season with a late second half goal. 1-1. You see, just that quick release, a step over onto the left foot, and he clips that in. An almost hockey style, just occupying the six in front of the goalkeeper. Gets a redirection there. Doesn't need much. Just a little clip, gets that lucky bounce off the... Still some time left on the clock. See what they can make of it. And a yellow coming in from Mark Allenton. Oh, and that's Ros is that Rosales picking up his second? It is. Oh, that's not a yellow. You can't give a yellow for that. Might we see some late theater develop here inside the stadium? Uluwashehi this time, the save from McMath. The five minutes of stoppage time are up, and Mark Allerton with the final whistle on the night.